The giant bust is George Cuvier. He was the author of the principal domains of life that were accepted until the 1960s. Cuvier really, really stood out as a giant in science 200 years ago, and we still work on obsessions of his today. He is right next to Barbie. That's paleontologist Barbie. One of the few regrets of my Barbie-related life is that I don't have marine biology Barbie. So the South Pacific Gyre is farther away from the continents than any other place on Earth. The, the upshot of this is that the heart of the gyre is farther from land and farther from continents than anywhere else on the planet. So the fact that, that the heart of the South Pacific is so far from land and so poor in nutrients makes it an ideal place to go and see what subsea floor life is like where you have very little organic matter raining from above. The sedimentation rate, the rate at which sediment accumulates in this part of the ocean, is as low as 8 centimeters every million years. Basically, the depth that people plant daffodils or tulips in their yard will take you past a million years. The sediment that we'll be drilling on our cruise this autumn is up to 120 million years old. We know that the organisms down there don't get a lot of energy. In fact, calculations that, that my group published in 2002 suggest that these microbes are breathing a million times more slowly than the slowest living microbes in, marine, in surface marine sediments or in uh, laboratory experiments. We ha really have no idea if these things ever double once they're down there in the deep sediment. By that I mean if they ever divide, if they ever have offspring. As you go down into older and older sediment, you don't get more and more cells, you get fewer and fewer. So if they're doubling, they're dying at an even faster rate than they're doubling. Alternatively, they could just be replacing body parts and be practically immortal. So when we find a cell in a 120 million year old sediment, we don't know if that cell is, is a cell that was deposited 120 million years ago and it's just re placing parts of its body as it needs to, or if it's the great-great-great-grandchild of some cell that was buried 120 million years ago. So if you want to look for life that might live on radioactivity, or that might um, be sort of pushing the extreme for how little energy microbial life can live on, the South Pacific Gyre is a good place to look.